Hello YouTube, it's Grosama, and I have a little something special for y'all today. Uh, this is actually kind of more of an apology video, but I kind of want to make this anyways. Um, so today is Sunday sometime in May, I don't even know the day, I think it's like the 13th or something like that. Um, but I was supposed to do the pose video for the tall geese, uh, I was really promising y'all that, that I was going to uh, push to make that video. Well, I had to go to work uh, for a little bit just to kind of open up the shop. And uh, when I came back, our like me and my wife, we uh, we had to like start getting uh, dinner ready because she just got back from work, and I wanted to spend a little time with her and everything. You know, that's just kind of how it is when you're married. Um, so when I finished that, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and make this pose video. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, some of y'all know I've been working in my uh, gunplay room because we just moved here, and I think I had about eight boxes of gunpla left uh, to set up, and I was just thinking, I was like, you know what, I can make that video. Or I can finish up my entire Gumpla uh, room right now so that way my entire room can be fully cleaned, organized, and I can really, really focus on these videos. So I decided to go ahead and do that. Uh, right now my Gumpla room is entire, entirely clean. And uh, probably by next weekend, uh, do expect a, uh, a full tour of the apartment as well as the Gumpla room. So uh, what, what do I have special for y'all? Um, I want to go ahead and prove to Mr. Nicholas um, that I do have painted kits. Uh, cause, well, not necessarily I have painted kits, but I, I reviewed uh, painted kits. So he kind of just mentioned like I don't really review painted kits on my channel. And in the past, um, I think in the past year, I reviewed about 11 painted kits. Uh, that, I, that I've personally painted. Um, so I'm, a, I'm actually just going to go over all the kits I've painted that are in my current collection. Now, I've painted a lot of kits that I've, I've get, uh, given to like shops or uh, I've, given, I've given to other people. So I won't be able to display those. But I want to go through every single painted kit that is currently in my collection right now. And this is fully painted. This isn't like partially or you know just some parts of the armor. This is like fully painted stuff. Um, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and start off with this one. This is the Master Grade Seven Swords. Uh, the original color scheme was actually blue, uh, but I decided I wanted to do the uh, inspection type colors. Um, this is actually the first painted kit I've ever painted. Um, this, if you go back to the beginning of my channel, this is the first review, like the cur the first kit I've ever uh, reviewed, and the first painted kit I've ever uh, painted, essentially. So. On camera, it looks really good, but when you look like really, really close, you can see the age. This kit was painted in like 2011, and uh, it was all spray cans. I didn't prime it, so a lot of the paint kind of rubbed off. So some of the red, you kind of see like the blue. Um, some of it's not evenly coated, um, and that's really about it. But other than that, like it's to me, it still holds up well. So. I thoroughly enjoy the looks of it, um, and I'm, I'm pretty much satisfied with it. All right, and the next kit is the Estrella Type F. Uh, this is the No Grade 100. Um, I painted this back in 2011, I believe. If it wasn't 2011, it was 2012. Um, this is probably like maybe the third or second kit I've ever painted. Um, so I'm not actually going in chronological order. I'm just kind of grabbing from the shelves as, as I see them. Um, but I really, really love this kit. Uh, I, I think overall the colors look amazing. I mean, this is me. I know some of y'all like, it looks like trash. Yeah, I was a very mediocre painter. Even now, I'm kind of mediocre still, but um, I really, really enjoyed this kit. I did uh, essentially metallic uh, red. Uh, I did like a very nice uh, dark, I guess like maroon for the other red, and uh, gunmetal for the inner frame, and then the black, I think is, I think it's a flat black for a lot of things. And then I just uh, did some hand paints in certain uh, in certain areas just to kind of enhance it, like the greens and some other little blacks, like the panel lines. It's all paint. Um, but yeah, this kit is uh, pretty awesome, at least to me. All right, and here is the Age One Razor. Now um, these are basically conversion parts that came in one of the uh, I think it's a Hobby Dinky uh, magazine. Um, so this was. Like some of it was really good. The, the the blue is metallic and the white is pearl. Uh, but on the sword, I kind of messed up because I was like masking and spray painting. Um, and if I can go into a time machine, I really wish I would have uh, hand painted them as well. I, I can't. I couldn't have an uh, airbrush during this time frame, um, just mainly because living in the barracks, that they really don't want you having um, uh, that kind of like you know 
uh, painting equipment. To be honest, they don't even want you to have spray cans and uh, hand paints, but um, you know, kind of just cheat the system. But um, yeah, I went ahead and this this whole entire kit is spray painted. Um, the green is spray painted, and since I masked I masked the um, the sword because this whole thing was just white, uh, so I had to mask a little bit of it, and uh, some of it kind of like seeped out and messed up and. Just after what, like six, seven years or something? Yeah, it's about six years. Um, some of the paint just kind of worn down because I love this kit. And I kind of like pose it up every once in a while. Um, but yeah, this is still like one of my favorite looking kits that I've painted uh, just because I love the age suits uh, and, and just the overall age designs. And the next one is the H2 Artemis. Now, I know people are saying like it's Artemis or it's something like that. It's like, oh, it's not Artemis. I'm like, you know what, A, whatever. I'll just call it the Gundam, you know, age 2 a whatever. Just because I know people are so sensitive about uh, the way things are pronounced. But anyways, um, I painted this one. These are parts that also came from a, uh, I think this is the Dinky Hobby Magazine. Um, now, everything was just pretty much a solid color. Uh, I don't remember what this color was. I don't know if it was like a gray or if it was all white, but like a lot of these were just all one plain color. I think maybe this part was all white and then this was like maybe gray or something. I can't remember. Um, but the body of the H2 was uh, spray painted and uh, pretty much all the blue up here. Actually, you know, I'll take that back. Now I'm looking at it. Uh, pretty much a majority of this was all hand painted. The, the red, the blue, the gray. Uh, that was all hand painted, but the white was the only thing I did not hand paint because I absolutely hate uh, hand painting white so I think I just went ahead and went with the spray cans uh, but everything else is um, was uh, hand painted so I can I can still see the streaks um, I mean at a distance you don't really see it but once it kind of glares in the light uh, you definitely uh, see all the, the little line streaks from when I was uh, painting it so um, overall hey it, to me it still holds up but uh, you know I could definitely do a better job next time Okay, so moving on to some of the Bill Fighters kits. Um, I've actually painted two of the uh, the Bill Burnings. Uh, this is the only one that I have still in my collection, though. Um, well, this is the uh, Bill Burning Try. The other one was just the Bill Burning. So um, I, I love this kit. I love I love the design of the uh, the, the Bill Burning kits. Uh, the comic key one, I'm not really like too keen on, uh, but the the try and the original to me are fan fantastic. Um, I love the effect. Like when I saw those effect parts, I was like, oh my god, this is like amazing looking. Um, so a lot of this is just all uh, spray canned, and I did um, like some kind of uh, I use fingernail. Um, it was like fingernail not polish but i guess just fingernail paint or whatever um to kind of give that glitter on the bottom parts of uh, of the flames i thought i thought it looked pretty good um even now it still looks pretty good i don't know if it's really catching on camera but if you see like glitter on the uh, the fire parts of the, like the the base of it uh that was fingernail uh paint so everything looks good it, it, you know, i kind of lined it up with some uh some red marker and um, yeah, I messed up in a couple places, but hey, it was a learning experience. And um, overall, I think this was a, a pretty awesome, you know, build. I don't even know why I painted this kit. <laughs> um, I, I think like when when the episode came out and it was an action, I really really loved it. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen uh, that episode with uh, this mobile suit. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it's just, I mean, like the paint job isn't really bad. There's a couple of places where uh, I kind of went off with the uh, panel lining. Uh, and this is before I had the accent. I was still using the uh, panel line pins. Um, so, yeah, and, and I didn't really do anything extra to it. All I did was paint it and then do some panel lines in certain, in certain areas. And I, I, I just left it alone. So, um, I mean, now I'm looking at it, I really think I might do some extra stuff to it. Uh, but the design, I don't even really like it anymore. Like... I'm looking at it, and I'm like, eh, it doesn't really look that great. Uh, I mean, the colors, I think, are pretty good. It has uh, some contrasting colors, some uh, light green and dark green uh, with the um, sparkling green underneath the, uh, I guess, the condensers or whatever, like whatever the, like, the clear parts are. Um, so just some like glitter, uh, glitter green to kind of emulate the, um, the plus, uh, Plesky particle. But overall, I think it looks uh, it looks okay. But it, right now, it's not my favorite design in my in my collection. 
Okay, and here is the uh, new Gundam. This this core model uh, was from the MC lines. I think it's like a third party uh, line. I found this over in San Diego, and um, I know I, I think I built it when I was in San. Yeah, I, I think I built it when I was in San Diego, and I didn't do anything. No, no, no. I, no, I did not build it. Okay, so I bought it. At the end of my trip in San Diego, well, it wasn't a trip, it was like I was, I was doing some training operations for, um, actually I was doing recruiting duty school, and then I bought this, brought it back to Mississippi with me, and then that's when I painted it, um, when I was, I think it was like 2015, 2016, um, so I, I decided to go ahead and paint it, I gave it the um, Mercury, I, I don't even know what it is, it's like Lev D or something like that, or uh, Lev B. So I gave it that, did some uh, dry, that's actually when I first did um, uh, freaking uh, dry painting, uh, the, the, the dry uh, weathering. Um, so I just did like, uh, like little streaks of silver, uh, just kind of give it more of a metallic look. Overall, I think it looks good. I uh, did some weathering to it, like just very, very light uh, weathering. I don't even know if it's gonna show up. Um, but this is the one that the Meiji and Kawaguchi piloted, or he customized himself when he was a kid in the uh, Bill Fighter's Amazing series. So I really like the design of it, and I saw it in a magazine that someone else built it uh, in the same kind of colors. So I was like, oh, I was like, I can do that. And uh, I didn't, I didn't really want the original Bandai high grade. I like this design a little bit more with the uh, the nice little panel lines and everything. So. That's pretty much my thought process when I uh, when I went ahead and uh, built this. All right, and here is the Gundam X model. I know it kind of has like a, a jacked up um, freaking pose right now, but um, it's all right. I'll fix it later. Uh, what can I say about this kit? Well, I painted it, and I really wanted to uh, just kind of like enhance the overall look of it because I didn't like the stickers. Uh, and, and kind of in hindsight, I wish I would have did uh, something better with that uh, the purple that's for like the. I don't like the glowy effect parts. I think I would have, I, I should have went with a, a bluish uh, kind of color, but um, overall, you know, I still, I still love it. Uh, I think it looks good. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite uh, kits that I have built uh, before because it was really uh, when I was, you know, trying to, I really wanted to improve my overall skills and there's, there's really no mess ups on this kit. Um, it's just that it's not impressive enough. It, it doesn't really do anything that's uh, different. Plus, I kept the uh, the safety nubs on the V fin, so um, bad on me. <laughs> uh, but overall, like it came out really good. I didn't mess up anywhere on it, and um, you know, I think I built this in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I really like this kit. I changed out the hands, so it has customized hands, um, and I put some little decals on it just to kind of enhance the overall look. But uh, I like it, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that matters. Okay, and next is the Master Gray Wing Gundam. Uh, this is another kit that I hand painted. Uh, the only thing I did not hand paint was uh, the gray, yeah, the gray and the white. Uh, those I actually spray painted, uh, but the yellow, the red, the blue, um, yeah, the yellow, red, and blue, uh, I pretty much, I, I, I uh, hand painted all that. Uh, and on the back, if you can see pretty much like right here, um, that's all messed up because I, I just, I, I forgot what I did. I think I was trying to push it together, but I didn't let the uh, the paint cure uh, fast enough. And I kind of smudged some of the paint on the white and it just has like some like red, I think it's like some little red spots and it kind of looks a little like mushed. Um, so yeah, like even now it's like, ugh, it's bad. Uh, and this is definitely a kit I would like to buy another of and then just repaint it. But like, I wanna, I'm getting an airbrush soon. So um, if I ever do decide to go ahead and repaint some kits, uh, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be way, way better than using the spray cans or uh, even the hand painting like this. But um, yeah, I, I, even even now, yeah, it's, it's not as great, but uh, hey, it's still a wing gun in my collection. <laughs> so I guess that's kind of like all that matters. All right, and the next thing is the high grade 10100 Ultron Gundam. Uh, this is like easily one of my favorite designs in the entire Gundam universe. Uh, and I was just so upset because I've been holding off on purchasing this kit uh, for a long time because I was like, you know what, maybe since they had that uh, the EW Shenlong that came out like in 2011, 2012, um, I was like, you know what, maybe they're gonna release a Ultron, whether it's like some kind of weird EW version from the manga uh, or it's gonna be like the, the TV version. I was like, I, I was like so, so positive and sure that they were gonna release um, a Master Grade version of it or at least a high grade like Revive. That never happened and still hasn't happened. So 
I was a little upset, uh, and I think this was 2016 I decided to build this. If it wasn't 16, it was 17. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident it was either at the end of 16 or it was the beginning of 2017. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and build this, and you know what? I like it. Uh, there was obviously a couple of errors I made on my part. Uh, I was using tester spray paints, and I really hate that line of paints. And um, obviously, if I could do it all over again with uh, like the Mr. Color or Tamiya, uh, this would look so much better. But you know what? I think overall it still holds up good. I think I, I really should have uh, tightened up some of the joints uh, in the knees as well as the hips. Um, it's just a really difficult kit to pose. Uh, even putting it on a stand, like, it still was fairly difficult, but um, I, I still enjoy the looks of it. I think the colors came out like just exactly how I wanted them uh, to come out. Um, and I did a lot of hand painting. Like The gold is all hand painted. Um, the green for the, um, which may call it, the trident, that's all hand painted. Uh, a lot of, like there's a lot of black on there that's all hand painted. The gray is hand painted. Uh, and that green in the middle and on the head, the eyes are hand painted. So yeah, there's a lot of hand painted stuff on here. And uh, you know, I, I think I, overall I did, I did fairly good. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this one. Okay, and here is another kit I've uh, painted. This is the Epion White. Um, this is from the Glory of the Losers, I believe. Um, but essentially, uh, I seen a, um, I think it was a Dinkai Hobby uh, magazine, like a little article. Uh, but they essentially showed a, like a little page of the original Epion fighting this one. This one actually is supposed to have uh, three, dra uh, three dragon heads. But I wasn't going to buy another uh, Epion on top of this Epion uh, just to get a leg to act as uh, it's like a cannon, but it's also a third head. And I was like, I'm not doing all that. I'll just do a, a simple repaint and give it a trident and um, just be done and over with. So yeah, th that's essentially the idea I came up with. Now, um, the paints I used for this one was like some weird like race car paints that um, I bought because I was like, oh, it looks, I was like, the paints look pretty good. And um, the owner of the shop was kind of like showing me the paints. I was like, oh, I was like, that actually looks pretty good. And, and then when I tried them, they just did not work with the, uh, the Gunpla. And I obviously, I, I primed this kit. Um, I think I did a white, I think I did white primer, uh, just so that way it can be a little bit bright uh, as it is right now. But uh, yeah, I was not happy with this color. Um, it, it just, it just doesn't to me it doesn't look good i don't i don't like the color of it uh it took a couple of coats to get it you know exactly correct um but maybe that could have been an error on my part uh but that's really about it so i just want to go ahead and paint uh basically an otaku epion uh from the ew of like, like i guess is the glory of the losers line Okay, and here is another Epion. Uh, so this is the first Epion that I've built and painted, uh, I believe back in, uh, back in 2012. Uh, so I just went with metallic red. I think I was just a big fan of the metallic red uh, color because I painted like this in like, I think four, no, three other kits. So I think I have four kits in total in my collection that has uh, this type of metallic uh, red. And then the black, if I'm not mistaken, is a flat black. Yeah, uh, looking at it, definitely looks flat. So um, just normal yellow. Then I did uh, the. I think it's like it's not gunship gray. I I, I think it's like some kind of weird. Uh, like I think it's German gray um, for some of the inner frame. And then um, yeah, just the metallic red. So I like it. Um, I, I definitely I definitely don't see myself having any regrets. I mean, obviously I I can do better now. Uh, but back then, I mean, I really put I put my entire like. Um, passion into this kit in particular and uh, yeah if I mean if I could do it all over again I would definitely like to have done it with a uh, an airbrush um, but I think right now it looks pretty good for what it is okay and the next kit is the um, full mechanic I don't know it's actually not the full mechanics I think it's just the regular uh, no grade 10100 Barbados the full mechanics line I don't think happened until uh, the Barbados lupus um, but yeah this is the 1100 Barbados I have uh, built and painted uh, the regular Barba regular Barbados uh, high grade but I gave that one to my boss so uh, I did I did a little, a little short review um, but I did do this one as well um, nothing really crazy with this one I just wanted to go ahead and uh, you know paint a, a, a Barbados essentially um, I love the colors you know obviously a lot of people do uh, a lot of people do amazing work to their uh, Barbadoses um, so I really didn't do anything special uh, to this one except for uh, put glitter and like those little red power 
kind of like icons on it. Uh, so it's like a little bit glittery. Um, other than that, I just did some hand painting for the details. And then the spray paint, uh, the spray paint was uh, all matte. Uh, except for the inner frame, I think I did um, metallic, like a, a, a gray metallic, uh, or not gray metallic, but uh, metal. It was like the, um, the gunship metal. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, I, I definitely would have liked to maybe go back and, and do some different changes, maybe uh, different types of colors. Um, but I'm, overall, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied for this build. All right, next up is the Barbados Lupus. Uh, so I decided I wanna go ahead and do a metallic on here. So I did uh, silver. Uh, now there is some scratch ups for w when I was moving everything, uh, which I'm actually pretty upset about. Uh, and I, I did a uh, white primer, if I'm not mistaken. So I did like a white primer, and then uh, I think I did two coats of uh, the metallic, and then just panel lines. So like right here, it got scratched up on the move, which is like so super upsetting. Um, but overall, I do like this uh, kit. I, I, I love the design, and um, I, I cannot wait to build the 1-100 uh, Barbados Lupus Rex, because I'm probably gonna do that one in metallic as well. If not, then I'm just gonna do uh, kind of like what I did to my high grade, and just kind of give it some battle damage. All right, next is the Gusson re Rebake uh, Full City. So I I just went ahead and, and, and went to town. I pretty much destroyed uh, as much as I could on this kit, painted a whole bunch of uh, weathering and all that on here. Um, I mean, like a lot of the details was missing. So uh, if you ever built the high grade of this kit, it, you, know, there, you know that there's a whole bunch of uh, stickers. And I was like, damn it. So I had to paint a whole bunch of white on there. Uh, so like, you know, this white right here, the white on the inner uh, part of the arm, um, had to you know paint the black and I had to paint all this white. So there's a lot, a lot of places that had to get painted. Um, and overall, you know, it wasn't bad. I just had to, uh, to just do the paint first and then I went ahead and weathered the entire thing and then did some like cuts and everything into it. So overall, I think this was a pretty cool uh, kit and it's, it's a part of my diorama. Uh, diorama that I was uh, planning to do, but I just never got around to doing it with the uh, Lupus Rex. All right, and here is the uh, high grade Barbados, eh, Barbados Lupus Rex. Um, this kit, like, as soon as I seen the first episode uh, with you know the Barbados Lupus Rex, um, I was floored. I was like, that is such a cool design to me. This is the most perfect design of the Barbados. I know people say like the Lupus is the best one or the original um, Barbados is the best uh, best one. But honestly, I, I think this one is. This one to me just takes the cake. Um, I'm super, super happy about it. I, I love I love the kit overall. I think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's really not much else I could possibly say except for, um, you know, I really want to go ahead and do more to this. Um, you know, I think I didn't weather it enough, to be honest, and, and put more uh, bow damage on it. Uh, but it is going to be a part of a diorama with the uh, the full city. Okay, and here is the uh, Casatra. This is like one of the last uh, kits I've painted uh, before I left Mississippi. And, I mean, this is like one of my favorite, favorite kits in my collection. Um, not only design-wise, but painted, like... I, I went all out. I did, you know, the funnels and everything. So I bought some of the extra little uh, effect parts to give it that. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in. Well, not zoom in, but I'll, I'll take this off the, uh, the little stand real quick just to kind of show y'all. Um, so, yeah, overall I did a, um, I think it was a olive. I think it was an olive green. And I forgot what the, the light green is. Um, but, yeah, it's it two different shades of green, uh, painted the black. Um, I went ahead, I didn't do a, a reverse wash for the sleeves. I just went ahead and hand painted them myself. Um, I think maybe next time I'll do a reverse wash, but you know, these didn't come out bad at all. So, I, you know, I think I can just keep doing uh, hand painted for the sleeves. And I just ordered some uh, custom decals, which to me weren't really that great. I kind of wish I would have went with like a different um, set of decals, but I think overall it looks fine. And then I have a um, custom stand that I went ahead and bought on Amazon, I mean not Amazon, uh, eBay. So it was like, like $10, $15, something like that. So overall it just fits with the aesthetic of uh, the Gasatra. And this thing is like pretty, pretty huge on the shelf. All right, and here I have the Zuda. Um, essentially, I just wanted a purple Zuda. There's really not much um, rhyme and reason to the color scheme I gave it. Um, it it's a metallic purple, and then I did just, um, I think I did metallic black, and then I did uh, like um, 
it wasn't gunship metal. It's something like gunship metal for the uh, for the weapons. And then I did uh, I hand painted the bronze and the silver, um, but I, it got messed up on the move, so some of the bronze uh, got you know um, scratched up. The silver is all fine, you know. I hand painted all that, um, but overall, like I love it, and I do want, I want to buy another one. I, I want like fifty of these things uh, and just paint them all like crazy different colors and do different customizations. I, I just want I want to go all out uh, with these kits because I love the Zuda. Um, even though it's a fairly old high grade, um, I think it holds up extremely well and I really want to do a review on it. Um, but I think I might buy a new Zuda just to go ahead and uh, paint it you know, in, in better colors. All right, and next is the uh, Master Grade Red Frame Astray. Uh, this is the one that has the, uh, the tactical arms uh, attached to it. Um, this is like maybe the third, like it was out of the second, third, or fourth uh, kit I've ever painted. I painted it back in 2000. I want, I want to say, a, I think it was 2011, um, if I'm not mistaken, but this kit was another one of those um, metallic red that I painted, and then the uh, the white, I believe, is uh, a pearl white. Um, overall, I do I do love this kit. It, it went through hell and back. I, I think it went through like four different moves. Um, so, it, it, you know, some places are scratched up, and you kind of see just some of the wear and tear on this kit. Um, but even through all that, I still love it. Um, I, I, I do want another red frame to paint um, and, and customize, but uh, I think for right now this is fine until I get um, you know some better uh, equipment so that way I can go ahead and airbrush and, and do everything else. But um, yeah, I, I think this kit still holds up well even though uh, I did a fairly poor job in painting it. Okay, and next is the Master Grade Blitz. Um, I think I, I think for the most part I kept all the colors original. Um, the purple, I think I just enhanced it because I think the old purple was fairly dull. Uh, but having a brighter purple in, in contrast to the black, uh, I think was a really good decision. And overall, I think it, it, it just looks fantastic. Um, even through all the moves, because I painted this in 2012. So even after moving and everything, um, it doesn't really have too many places that it scratched up. Uh, mainly in the waist. The shield's fine, like I don't see any scratches on the shield, um, but I think it's really just the waist that kind of got messed up. Um, everything else, you know, just really held up well. Uh, I really wish I would have used uh, water slides uh, instead of, um, you know, these pretty much stickers. Uh, some of them I think are dry applies, but, you know, I used a couple of stickers, which I, I do regret. Um, but that, you know, it's kind of like a live and learn, you know, type of thing. But the Blitz is still one of my favorite uh, designs from Seed. And, um, you know, I, I just had to go ahead and, and uh, give it some, not, not, not to have any kind of puns, but to give it some justice. All right, guys. And the final painted kit in my collection right now is the Hono Freedom. Um, it was the Master Grade. Uh, I, I, the 2.0 didn't come out at the time, but even if the 2.0 did come out, uh, I was really going to just choose this one because I, I love the overall simplistic uh, design of it. Uh, it it's not like riddled with uh, panel lines, nor does it have a whole bunch of gimmicks. It's just essentially straightforward, and uh, I just wanted a Hono uh, Freedom because uh, in a I think it's the Ding, Dinky, uh, Dinkai magazine or uh, however you pronounce it. Um, it was in the, uh, the the hobby magazine that you know we usually get, and I seen it in there, and I was like, oh, I was like, uh, I already seen the um, Wing Hono, and I think there was a Zeta Hono I seen, and I think there was a uh, Destiny. Uh, Hono and I was like ooh, there's a freedom Hono so I never got around to doing a destiny Hono like I wanted I do have a uh, Zeta Hono um, that I bought from someone else that that basically you know painted it they weren't happy with it um, it's, 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 it's honestly not even a great paint job I just I was like you know what let me just get it from you because he did um, you know he, he did it in the colors that I wanted it just it could have been better so I was like, you know, I have the Hono Wing, and I was like, I gotta get the Hono Freedom. Um, now, obviously, I don't have like those kind of like weird weapons because they don't make them in one one hundred, and I'm not gonna scratch build them. Um, so I just went ahead and just made the colors like it is, and overall, hey, I'm happy with it. You know, I don't really need to enhance it any further. Um, I just kind of went with a, a much uh, a much more dull white than normal, and then I had like this uh, really nice like fiery looking red, uh, as well as the orange uh, to kind of contrast it. But, hey, that's it for me, guys. I uh, just want to go ahead and showcase every single uh, painted kit in my collection to show y'all I am not a 100% straight builder. Um, I do a lot of straight builds, but I kind of don't need to paint every single kit in my collection. Um, if a kit really catches my attention or you know, if there's something about it I really love, 
I'll paint it. And I do have like four other kits that are in boxes right now that are that are like halfway through painting. I just haven't got around to finish uh, finishing them. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Um, you know, also Nick. Hey, Nick. Here's all the painted kits, and uh, I definitely reviewed probably way more than half of those uh, throughout my time on YouTube. So, ooh, sorry. So if y'all want to go ahead and uh, see if you can find the reviews for any of these, uh, just check out my video library, and uh, I'll probably have them kind of scattered throughout the uh, the channel. But that's it for me. So definitely thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I should have another um, video tomorrow, which will be hopefully the post video for the Tall Geese. Uh, but that's it for me. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.